All right. Good morning, Um, it's, We are your sisters again from USA. I'm here with my sister, LP. To say, please greet our people. Greetings, uh, people of Biafra, friends of Biafra. We are happy to be here again. Thank you for coming in. We'll continue the struggle until we get to Biafra. Stay blessed. Thank you. I have my sister, Augusta. Why am I on your screen? <laughs> now, uh, that I don't know. <laughs> now there's two of me on the screen. Okay, okay, that's that's funny. Uh, Please say hi to okay, our people. Good, okay, good morning, our people. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are residing. Thank you so much for joining us. We will continue this struggle. We are here to propagate the restoration of our motherland. We are here to talk about issues that concern us. And uh, these issues have to be addressed before our motherland, we get to our motherland. So everybody, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you, sister. You are looking sweet. <laughs> thank you. Like the friends we say, they say that you're looking good. sweet. Of course, thank before we get started, we do want to thank you, Diama, our wonderful savior, the one that is working tirelessly in spiritual realm to ensure this restoration project. Dear Lord, as we face these uncertain times in our land, we ask you, Lord, to dwell amongst us. We are comforted by the knowledge that you alone are our maker and our redeemer and the ultimate master of our lives. We trust our land to your loving care. Send your spirit to touch the hearts of our people. Give them the wisdom to know what is right and the courage to do it. Use those of us here in the diaspora that was strategically placed for a time like this for us to do the needful. Give us your light and your truth to guide us in our way so that you may seek your will in our lives and impart the world around us for your kingdom rock of ages we know that you have endowed us with power authority and wealth to be the place of worship a future for our children where we will worship you once we restore our land therefore lord we ask you for your intercession as we play our part in actualizing god's this god's mandate we do want to take a minute of silence for our sisters and brothers that was destroyed in the furniture uh, fire market. So our minute starts now, please. all right thank you guys so much i know it was a long minute may the soul of our dearly departed be fighting be fighting on to restore our father's land we okay. sympathize with our victims uh, yes so thank you guys so much our topic today is going for what works going for what works Every day in life, we are faced with decision-making to help us navigate our way in our world. To read that decision, we must solve one or two problems, which starts by defining the problem, determining the cause of the problem, identifying, prioritizing, and selecting alternatives for solution. And of course, implementing that solution. This is what makes us human or humans. Problem can be ill-defined or it can be well-defined. And all of these have different approaches, approaches that we use for it. Well-defined problem have specific goals and clear expected solutions, while ill-defined problems do not. Well-defined problems allow for more initial planning than 
than ill-defined problems. Charles Kettering is an inventor and head of research for General Motors. He even recognizes that problem that is well-defined is a problem half solved. Solving problems begin with good interpretation of that problem, the ability to understand the goal of that problem. Of course, the rules that applies to it represents the key to solving the problem. This is what sets us apart as human beings. Africans look at problems differently from Westerners and even Chinese. And this has left us in a dark continent. The good news is that there is hope. For every human being, there are always a list of possible solutions to pick from. Your choices depend on your expected outcome. The greatest challenge, therefore, is to, is to discover what the real problem is and picking what works. Sometimes your choices may not work. Some people may even complicate the existing problem by running in circles. But it is important that when we run into a roadblock, we always pick what works for us. So, Sister Augusta, how do we go about what works for us? Yeah, um, how we go about what works for us is, first of all, acknowledging what we need and where we have to arrive at. So in order for us to go for what works, we all have to, first of all, you know, one needs to be honest with what the issues are. If you're honest with what the issues are, then you're probably there already. You understand? Right. So it does not call for sentiment. It does not call for unnecessary show of emotions. Because our people are fond of showing emotion all the time. You understand? And doing Things nothing about that, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're, they're fond of that. They like showing emotions over the slightest thing. You understand? Instead of sitting down and probably looking at things from a critical perspective, they are always showing emotion. So you have to be very objective, irrespective of what other people think. Because one of the problems we have is, oh, my kind of hard thing. Or you know that kind of a thing. You don't want what people would say versus what you know that you would do that is right. So you have to, you know, irrespective of what people, your family, your friends, your peers, your community, whatever, whomever, whatever they think, that should not bother your objective because your your object your your objective and your goal is what should be your primary concern. You understand? And one thing that people don't always understand is that there is a uh, there is an important um, aspect of our life, which is called self-preservation. That is very paramount in our lives, but a whole lot of us don't even understand what self-preservation means. You understand? You would have to, first of all, take away the specks in your eye before you take away the speck in another person's eye. In other words, you have to preserve your dignity, you have to preserve what is yours before you start you know, fighting for the other person. Even in flight, for instance, where uh, you are in uh, an airplane, you know, oftentimes you will hear the cabin, friend, well, you know, when the, 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 is it the hair or stairs or whatever, they will be, you know, telling you what to do when there is a, an emergency. Right. For instance, if the cabin pressure falls, they will tell you, hey, you have the mother, the father, the guardian. First of all, you personally have to secure your own oxygen. Right. Before you can secure the oxygen of your child or the oxygen of the, your next person next so, to you. So, yeah, exactly. So they want you to do that first. It means that you have saved yourself first in order to be able to save the other person. If you don't do that, and it unfortunately happens that you die, this other person will also die. So first of all, save yourself. That is how it works. So in areas of marriage, it should involve teamwork and compatibility. That matters a lot. You don't get married because all your friends are getting married. You don't get married because you know, all your age mates are already married. One thing you have to understand is that whoever you are married to, you know, there has to be this compatibility. There has to be this agreement between both of you. It doesn't have to be a signed agreement, but something has to work for both of you. Compatibility is very, very important. I remember several years ago, uh, one of my husband's very close friends got married. They had this elaborate wedding in Houston. It was so elaborate, a lot of fanfare, you know. I think after a year or thereabout, and after a child, the woman said she was opting out. And you were wondering, why would she, that, not, that wedding was elaborate, oh my God. Why would she opt out? The truth is that she said that there is a lot of irreconcilable differences between herself and her partner. 
and you are wondering that if they had probably sat down before they wedded, you know, talked among between each other, they will be able to understand where their compatibility lies. So that's the problem. So we need to face that as well. So it's important for you to pick a good team member. Picking a good team member is very important because that elevates you rather than demotes you. Absolutely. Even the first president, if you know the first president, he married his teacher. You understand. And as much as I'm not a fan of their, their kind of marriage, but there's a, I'm sure there's a level of compatibility between the two. You understand? He did not care what people said. He knew what was going to work for him, and he went along with it. So it's also, it seems differently from Africans. Because Africans, the first thing they would say is that, why is he married with grandma? Because the woman actually looks like his grandma anyway. But there's a lot of, there's, probably there's a lot of things that both of them, an agreement that they have that make them a good team. And probably that works for both of them. So our, and our people are fond of, you know, rather than marry a woman that will challenge them, they want to marry the one that they could bully. They want to marry the one that they could box. You know, that, that is why you know that we have a lot of men at, 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 at Mike Tyson. They want to box their women. They want to, um, you know, white mattress and all that. You know, you start wondering, why is it so? If both of them cannot, you know, reach an agreement of what both can bring to the table. Here in America, husband and wife have an idea. I mean, especially the white people. They have to sit down and, and, you know, reach an agreement. They won't have a written agreement, prenuptial and all that. They have a written agreement of how, what ideas you can bring up to the table that would help a family grow. Sometimes our African people, the man wants to be the one that will take the entire, 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 uh, what is it called? Will bring the, the, the whole idea, would want to, you know, take the care of the entire family. Wouldn't want the wife to add whatever ideas she has to, you know, make whatever they are doing work together. So we all have to start, you know, deviating from that and start, as, you know, getting ourselves involved with every intelligence that you get from your wife and your husband. Bring, bring all your stuff to the table so that both of you can harness what will work for you. You understand? And if the man eventually dies, like in the case of the African uh, family, the idea or that becomes the end of the family. Because it's the man that knows where the land that he bought, all the papers. Sometimes they are fond of that. They will buy plots of land. They will keep it away from their family or from their wives. They will keep away uh, their property that they have in all kinds of places. They will keep it away from their wives. And by the time he dies, the idea of that, uh, not the wife not even knowing that the man is rich or the man has property, might even end up not being able to take care of the family that the man left yeah. in the world. Yeah, so we need to accept understanding that the family standard of living of that family would definitely fall drastically. It's going to fall because the wife does not even have an idea what the husband is doing. You understand? So no wonder Africa is so backward. The continent, there is no light. And when I mean there's no light in that. Dark, it's about, called dark light. continent. <laughs> darkness. So much darkness in Africa because our people are not waking up to their responsibilities. Thank you, Sister Mona. Thank you so much. My sister, we are tired of being in the dark continent. We have to do what works. We must do what works. Sister, how important is it that we choose what works in a restoration project? Or mute yourself. Thank you so much, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, my sister. Thank you, Sister Mona, Sister Augusta. You see, going for what works is so important. Like, uh, Sister Augusta has already enumerated in the area of marriage, you know, why so much, uh, many families in Africa are so poor, you know. Imagine a man buys structures and the wife is not aware. You can't give to your husband the papers. I mean, you can't give to your brother or your sister the papers. Then when you die, your brother and your sisters will use the, the, the resources to raise their own children. Mm -hmm. But your widow that you left has nothing to raise your own children. Mm. And you find out that the, the, you have reduced yourself to nothing. You die, everything dies with you. I mean, you could trust this woman with your body. You sleep with her. Do everything with her. But you cannot trust her with your sweat. And then you die. Everything goes to your people, 
and your children reduced to nothing. What have you done to yourself? You see how the stupidity in it? Highly, and highly. This same thing is what we transfer to nation building. That's why Africa has no work. Because we go for options that do not make sense. We go for things that when you critically look at it, you say, why is this person doing this? So in nation building, going for what works for everyone, every citizen, is critical for the progress and survival of the entire nation. Nigeria today, for, for instance, is a shadow of herself because people have failed to realize that there's something called going for what works rather than beating about the bush. You know a man that told you that he, he raised uh, cattle for 30 years, 150, and they remain 150. Have you not seen that that thing does not work, that whatever he was doing did not work? That this one is not going to grow you, it's going to damage you. But you passively attack him to be your commander in chief. Does that make sense to anybody? Mm -mm. Sense. Doesn't make sense. He, 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 he don't analyze it like he said, you know, you have to, when you have a problem, you have to critically analyze your problem, know your options, and then out of the options, you go for the best outcome. You want to give you best outcome. That's what human beings do. Today, Ibo Biafrans are in serious pain because they fail to listen to the prophecy given to them by Mazen Nandekanu. He said this severally. He said, He said it. This is a prophecy we receive as a people. But it's like when we listen, I think something is blocking our ears. Usually when prophecy comes, what normal people do is they ask, what can we do to advance this prophecy? What can we do to stop this thing that you say will happen to us? What can we do to stop it? No. Our people will wait until it happens. Then they will start wailing and lamenting. God, where are you? God, what did we do? God, why does anyone hurt us? Though? God, have you abandoned us? Then? Said, you know, <laughs> I hear God saying, your only offense is stubbornness and unbelief. You don't listen. You're not able to listen and follow a way of escape that I made for you. When I say restore Biafra, you say 2023 Igbo presidency. No, no, listening. No, a stiff neck people. You don't listen. Anambra State is the first son of Biafra. As a first son, you must be responsible to lead your siblings out of danger. All you do is amass wealth. Sit down and make money. You're making money when your house is on fire. You're making money when your wives and children have been marked for death. What type of stupid money is that? So you mean all this blood that is being wasted is for Igbo presidency? Will that work? Will that work? Is Igbo presidency what you need? In your honesty and sincere mind, do you think getting an Igbo man into that stupid zoological country to be the president. In your mind, have you you, so you analyze it in your mind and you think that's what will work? Because you need to know, ask yourself, what is our problem really? You need to understand what the issues are. It's when you understand what the issues are, then you begin to say, what are our options? And then you ask yourself, this option, which one will give us the best outcome? And then you go for it. And when everyone, every Biafran, understand that this is the way out, then we will run after it. We will sit down waiting for somebody to come and wake us up. Waking you up, are you not seeing what is happening? Are you blind? Are you deaf? You are allowing greedy, foolish politicians, fake church leaders, Evil and strange traditional rulers to lead you astray. You must be out of your mind. As adults, every time you must ask questions what's going to work? You cannot afford to be passive. 
You cannot afford to be elusive. You cannot to be ignorant. You cannot just look. You see terrorism being rolled out upon you and your people. You still don't know what you're facing. We need to go for what works for us to have the nation of our dream. Thank you very much, my sister. I'll hold on first. Absolutely. Our people need to wake up. We have suffered so many misfortune in the hands of the zoological republic. They are not hiding it. The evidence is all around. Every time we hear stories about tankers being loaded with fuel that will fall into the market and explode, every time we hear about a tanker that will run into even a market square. Last year, was it uh, last year that they killed the Mon in the Colombia? Killed 26 other people. They break fell. They use all kind of strategy, either their tank uh, uh, broke down or their brake fell. And it always, we always, that break we always fell. Whenever we are having some type of activities, or you always fell in the market, we never ever fell on the Okibwe uh, highway. It's always where our people are gathered together. My people, this is called economic terrorism. They are not going to come in and use AK for, they are using AK 47 in some places. But this is a place effectively at least kill a whole lot of people and it will look uh, unbecoming, like nobody will know what has happened. So you still cannot understand that this is terrorism. Every Christmas, Igbo dominated market is being set on fire. You're still waiting for someone to advise you to contribute and get a fire truck. Even upon all your business IQs, all the billion, billion dollar businesses that you're making, you still want someone to advise you that you, the marketers need to come together and get you a fire truck that will even be way right there in your market, right there in your market. So if anything happens, you will protect the, the money that you have earned. If you are making money and you are not working to protect it, then you, it's a matter of time you will go to waste. It's a matter of time. You see that they use policies to destroy your business or they will use a uh, tanker loaded with fuel to destroy your business or they will use uh, uh, customs to make sure that whatever you're sending in does not come in. You are waiting for non-existent government to come and help you. Any day, any day, you business makers or business dealers, you uh, uh, buying and selling people, any day with bear fry is not declared, calamities will fall upon us. It's just a matter of time. Any day you guys are sitting there doing your buying and selling, any day you think, oh, I have my house, I have my gate man, my house is gated, I can afford to pay school fees for my children, guess what? It's just a matter of time. It will come after you. Christmas is around the corner. Wait to see. There will be so many more explosions coming up. The earlier we realize this truth, the earlier that we realize we do not belong in this zoological republic, the earlier we start doing the needful and start work, especially our men, especially those that are capable of taking care of the mess that are in anemia, any day you guys keep pretending and sleeping and hoping and doing whatever you're doing, guess what? We will continue to suffer the consequences. Sister Augusta, please continue. Yes, that's right, Sister Mona. As you rightly said, the earlier we started thinking about the right things to do, the better for all of us. You understand? If not, we are going to suffer the consequences. And it's going to get to everybody, regardless. It's going to touch <coughs> you. You may say, oh, right now, oh, it hasn't affected me. No, no, Wahala. But it's going to touch you. And by the time it gets to you, nobody will be there to sympathize with you. So the earlier we started this, the better for us. Now, we need to realize that God is creative and smart. He is. Yes. Yeah. He has given us he has given us the brain. He has given us the wherewithal to be able to do things ourselves. And he created us, I keep saying this, he created us in a different way. We have a different kind of gene. He created us in a different way. But the fact is that we are losing the, 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 the idea that he gave us. We are losing it. And I don't know who tampered with our DNA. Yes. Somebody must have tampered with it. If not, why are we so stupid that we do not realize that this thing is terrorism of its highest order? Mm. Why are we so stupid that we are not acknowledging the fact that these people are out there to maim us and kill us and finish everything that we have? So we need to wake up. 
we need to wake up. How can you call yourself a child of God when you are so gullible and foolish? You know? So you say you are a child of God and you are foolish. You have forgotten that God gave you this to use. You have forgotten that God gave that to you already. And you are still waiting for God to tell you to use it when he has given it to you already. Me, I don't understand. So how can we be that gullible? The only thing you create is death, sorrow, and calamity. How can you be so religious yet you lack problem solving skills and creativity? Everything you say, what do you want to Every time you say, oh, I have left it. It is God. well. Mm -hmm. eh? It is well. Whereas it's a river. I, yes. Okay, chicken, man, and all, all sorts of, okay, I my, you know, all that kinds of um, a rhetoric. As far as I'm concerned, that's what they are. You say, what do you want to do? Okay. So, you know, you start asking yourself, when God has told you already, now all the love more already. And you're still saying, no, God, didn't you understand? So, you know, those are the ideas that we, we, we need to just get ourselves out of this quagmire. Because if we don't, <laughs> hey, God, 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 God. how can you suffer every day of your life and all you can do is to cry and lament? If you go on Facebook, oh my God, if you go on Facebook, lamentation, even the lamentation that is written in the Bible, the one that we're lamenting has surpassed that one. You understand? We like the slightest thing we're lamenting. Well, we should be using our thinking faculty to figure out how we can, you know, either avoid this thing happening next time or stop it in its front. Because we, 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 we have to just wake up to, to reality. We have to wake up and smell the coffee that these people aren't joking anymore. People are still busy trying to say, how can we hear Biafra? How can we hear Biafra? I'm saying to that Biafra, when Biafra comes, will you save them? And I'm like, duh. If Biafra comes, of course, there are a lot of things to be put in place. There will be fire service. If anything happens and fire, God forbid, you know, there's a smell of smoke somewhere. The fire service is in my house in two minutes. I'm not kidding. You don't even have to call them because the alarm will go off. It will signal to them they will be on their way. But we don't have that kind of a thing. And you could see a woman and her baby burnt alive. Like, even Suya has not been burnt alive that way. That's so, that's so painful. And we are telling our people, people are waking them up. But this thing is no longer a joke. You are crying and lamenting as if crying and lamenting will solve the problem. Can you be sensible enough to start connecting the dots? Because you don't want to. We have told our people, you know, we say that they should boycott everything. But because of lack of knowledge, they don't even know their purpose in life. So now, what is your purpose in life? You only to cry and lament, okay? To continue to cry, to continue to go to Facebook and show pictures of people that have been killed. Why have you allowed yourself to be indoctrinated that you no longer know when to use your brain? You have become so heavenly minded that you have forgotten that you are, you are, you are still on earth. <laughs> First of all, solve the things around you before you start thinking of how to go to heaven. You understand? When, you are, going to, when are you going to stand up and start solving your physical problems with physical solutions? Like we told you all, boycott anything full of me, their goods and services. When you cut their nail cutting, the other day I think I saw uh, one guy spitting in, uh, was he cucumber or what was, what was he selling? I think it's cucumber or something. He was spitting, the cucumber that people will buy, you spit on it and spray one dirty water on it. And guess who will buy it? Uh, people. The other one was pouring chemical or whatever on tiger nuts. Who will buy those things? Our people. Hmm? They will pour and pee and don't know what picking fruits from the gutter. Who is going to buy all those things? Our people. Because their people don't even buy such. Our people will buy these things. And we are telling boy, call up the constables and people don't even want to get it. So you have reduced yourself to a lab rat. Every chemical is tested on you and your children. Yes, they are doing it. You see, there was one I watched on, 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 on uh, Facebook. The, this guy was selling a uh, about medicine or whatever. That pure chemical he was selling. They had to force him to drink 
what he was selling. But the guy refused. He said he wasn't going to drink it. They poured it on the styrofoam, and this thing melted the styrofoam, and this is what our people are drinking. Hmm. Too, who changed our DNA, because who, who, did, who messed with our brains? Who did that? Who messed with our brains? Starting from Maggie. You know the ones where they used to have Ajinomoto a oh, long time ago. There's this white Maggie that they used to cook. That white Maggie used to be so sweet. I remember in those days. So one day somebody told my mom that you can use that white Maggie to wash your Even white the flour. regular Maggie now. The regular Maggie still contains all those things. MSG, monosodium glutamate, it contains that chemical, it contains that parameter in a minute uh, quantity. But in that white magic, it, uh, it was in a lot of quantity because I remember my mom used it to wash her white blouse. Now, and this thing washed the white blouse clean in those days. And that is what we were putting in our mouth. You understand? Washing out the, our brains. Yes, yeah, that was what we were eating. But that's what we're eating. And you have forgotten that these people have ways, 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 ways to mess with our brain. They will put it in our cook, they will put it in our fanta, and this thing will be killing the pituitary gland, the part, the site of our brain that is for reasoning. And that is why I keep wondering, why are our people not waking up? Why is this so difficult? <laughs> I mean, what do we have to do differently? You understand? We have reduced ourselves to things that are so unimaginable. Yet we have failed to defend our race. So when we do realize that Nigeria is dead and gone, when? When I go, that country cannot come back together. Eh? You saw this uh, Igbo, Igbo governor going to go and collect 10 billion naira from um, Muhammad of Wari. And they were actually, was, uh, is it bowing their head to collect 10 billion? See, no one may see. We are collecting 10 billion to fix Enugu Airport. And you felt that what has done you good. Meanwhile, the resources that is keeping that useless country going is from the eastern region. And you're so excited that this guy was giving you 10 billion naira when they missed Enugu Airport. And our governors are jumping and feeling excited about oh, what they have achieved. Who did this to us? Where are the so-called celebrities? What are they celebrating? Roasted human beings and babies are not as cried out. Eh? The other time, the BB Nigeria, whatever, I don't even follow that kind of nonsense. Well, I, I, I don't even know the story anyway. One of the contestants, maybe something, something, I put, I, our celebrities were out there conversing for that, that, that um, a contestant that probably didn't win. Even I heard that one of them gave her 60 million or what have you or whatever, I'm not sure. These are things we see on Facebook. But none of the stupid celebrities have come out to talk about what happened in our nation. None has come out. No. None has seen the picture of that woman and her baby roasted and lied. None has seen it. None has spoken against the injustices that we face coming from the northern region. None. Are they blind? Is it that they Google their way, their eyes is covering their eyes? What, what is going on with our people? And guess what? When the big deal come and sing, we will be the ones to patronize them. Other things don't buy their songs. We are the ones patronizing them for going along. And what is happening on the show? And none of them have come up to say anything. None. They don't care. Our people are dying. They drop off. Right. That is right here in America. Right. They want you not to use. 
use your cell phone, phone close to the phone. Like that. Right. Then what do not use your cell phone when you are pumping gas. So you have forgotten that probably somebody walked around and there was a cell signal and that sparked the fire. I have also forgotten that the idiot that fell that thing could have run away and lit a, 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 a sack of mud from a fire. This is how flaming, but this is, oh my God, this, the, the smell of petrol alone can ignite fire. And when the church is telling me it's not a terrorist, as this thing happened, in the space of two days, another one in on my on my back playing palace away. And I'm like, what is going on? How do you explain the nearness of these attacks? How are people just got to wait? If y'all don't want to wake up, then those that are well, can we just go? Can we just go? This is just have to stop somehow. Have those that are awake, can we just go? This thing just has to stop. And you keep that. Uh, uh, acknowledging that you're in Nigeria when you don't have infrastructures that would quench that fire. It, what, uh, uh, what idiot, a friend of mine, or oh, anyway, all oh, Yoruba here, what do you expect? Was texting me that the, 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 the fire in California didn't affect me. I said, oh, you did not see the one in uh, on the chat. You are calling me about the one in California. I don't even live in California. Oh, Pastor Lodi, I'm not going to him. I'm so pissed off. Don't text me about anything happening in California. First of all, tell me about what you saw in, in our nature. Our people just need to wake up. And if we don't do that now, posterity will not forgive us. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Thank you. Um, thank Especially you. those of us that are here in the USA enjoying the benefits of it. <laughs> He's not even clocking. What is she hotel? Did my mother be American? What is she hotel? Is she hotel? Oh, what is she hotel? Oh, what is she hotel? Oh, what is she hotel? Oh, she get hotel? You cannot sleep in the match on your building. And I work with this. Now we would get this thing going, and you're like vomiting. For certain man, forgive a fool. No, if you all don't wake up. Yes, sir. Thank you. One thing that they failed to realize is that we were strategically placed. We keep saying this. We were strategically placed in diaspora for a time like this. So if anyone is thinking about himself, thinking, oh, I'm good. It's all about me. Me and my family are fine. I live in a safe zone. Oh, my gosh. You don't know what you're leaving for your children. You don't know what you're leaving behind for your children. The earlier you wake up, especially those in diaspora, the earlier you wake up and start doing the needful and start speaking for the voiceless and start speaking for the weak, the better for you. You will be leaving a legacy for your children. But if you think all you were born to do is to come here and take care of yourself and induct yourself into parties on Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, you have something else coming for you. Especially our women, do not let your so-called useless husband, brainless, visionless husband deceive you. This is our offspring. We are the one giving birth to these children. Ask your husband, what are you doing about what's going on in your father's land? Especially those of you that are first son hiding here in America. What are you doing about what's going on in your father's land that your father sold his last land and sent you to Obodoibo? You come here, all you have reduced yourself to is chairman of Ndi, Ofu, uh, 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 what is it called? Ofu Club. That's what you have reduced yourself to. Whereas you were sent here by Chukwu Gikabia 30, 40 years ago for you to speak up for in a time like this. And you guys think it's a joke. Sister, okay, please continue. Thank you so much. My sister, it's, uh, what's happening to us is so, um, so it's quite unfortunate and pathetic, you know, when you think about it. Because we're just existing. We're not really living. Mm -mm. When you see them, because when you see that something is living, you see that Thing flourishing, you know, you see that thing flourishing. They see they're not existing, they're just working like a ghost, you know, even the way they operate and do stuff. Some of them are so rich, yet their children are so wayward. So there's no total mess, there's no that shalom, that peace that will exist in everything. When you are chasing this one, 
this one will be running away from you. You are just like going in a circle, you know, like a maze, you know, like, like a rat race. That's what our people are doing. We're just existing. Have you asked yourself that what's your purpose in life? Why did Tupokike create you? Why did he, that fetus that brought you into being, why did he not abort in your mother's womb? What's the purpose of your existence? Is it just to just give birth and die? You just give birth to children, then one day you, you, you become sick and then you die. You see, every nation right now is thinking of becoming great again. That is what every nation is thinking about. America is thinking the same thing. Even Britain, they will need to exist. We need to do this for our people. We need to do that. Everyone is saying that. When are you going to begin to talk about your nation? You don't even have a nation yet. Do not talk of making it great. Is that not a concern to you? Why are you allowing them to create misery for our people rather than create life for them? Why you watch helplessly, supervising their iniquities, supervising their evil in your land? Or don't you know that your silence is in agreement? Oh, Kitty, that's what my people said. If something is going on around the neighborhood and you keep quiet, that means you are in agreement with it. That means you're saying it's okay. That means you're supervising it. That means it's okay for you and your people. Can't you see that we are limiting our potentials as a people? Can't you see that? When are you going to discover and go for what works? When? When, my people? When are we going to realize that everything we are going through has been made to mold us into the person we are supposed to be, the persons we have been created to be? We are not made to be the, this sit down, the look passive person. That's not why people have made us. You just sit down and watch life happening to you. You just sit down and watch. They are doing, you know, they are coming, you know, they are taking us off. You are all wellers, that they call you. There is a prayer, my people. Say, mm -mm. They call you wellers and you have remained to be a weller. Mm -hmm. You have incapacitated yourself and you are just looking. Life is happening to you. Rather than you making life happen, you are passively standing by and watching life happen and it's going. And lying to themselves. Yeah. And you're lying to yourself to make it worse. Oh God, it is well. I saw somebody that said it is not well. It is the river already. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's it's ocean. Mm -hmm. Do not come near me and tell me it is well because I can't see any well here. What kind of lie are you taking telling yourself? What kind of religious lie? Religious phrases. Who has cried help? Have you ever seen anybody that stand and continue to cry and this like you see? You see, all these things we are going through ought to push us into the purpose of our existence as a people. They ought to push us into the problem we have been created to solve. By now, my people, we ought to have understood our mission on earth by now as a people. We also have understood our mission on earth and begin to ask questions. What will it take us as a people to fulfill this mission? How can we tackle all the challenges and obstacles associated with this mission that Chukwopike has created us to do? It will be childish to think that when we say we want Biafra, the world we just clap and say, okay, take Biafra. Hey, we love you people so much. Hey, take Biafra. That is a childish way of thinking. That's why we have been calling as Biafra women. We have been calling for division of labor. We know that building and restoring a nation is not like building a football team 
and forming supporters club. One person is, 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 is running with the round object and the rest are clapping. Oh yeah, go! Put it inside the goal. It is a goal. Oh yeah, they go! They go, they go! Clap for him, clap for him. That is not how you build a nation. No, that is not no. how you will not start with Biafra. Mm -mm. Nobody has ever built a nation like that. Building of a nation is a collective task. Every citizen of that nation must be involved. Do not sit down there watching your watch man the can to stop the Afra for you. He's doing his job. His own is even, he has even done over part of the job. He has done over. One man. He has done over. He's a prophet sent to you. When a prophet declares what the Tukwokike sent him to say, you, the child of Tukwokike, will go on your knees and say, Tukwokike, what do you want me to do? What role should I play? It's not even Mazen Nandikali that will tell you the role to play. You ask Mazen Nandikali for the role, means that you are a godless nation. You don't have a god. Is Mazen Nandikali your god? He has declared the message given to him by Chukwo Kike. You go back to Chukwo Kike. Reunite with Chukwo Kike and ask him what is your own assignment. And begin to do it immediately. Immediately. As a citizen of Biafra, that you know you are, you must play your role. Even if it means working from your own angle. Even if it means cultivating cucumber for us. Because we're going to eat now, even if we're going to work. Are we not going to eat? My people, are we not going to eat? We are being attacked from all angles. Are you not seeing it that is division of labor? Some have been sent to carry fuel tank into the market. That is their own assignment. They will just go there, drop it, and walk away. Disappear. That's the assignment. Some have been sent to marry our daughters. Some have been sent to spit into our aqua water. Some have been sent to put chemicals and give us to drink. And we start having liver diseases at dying and vomiting blood. Mm. And then you say, mm -hmm. Have been sent to go into politics. They test it. That's why you see Buhari four times. He contested and came back. He kept coming back. He kept coming back. People were even saying, What did this old man live inside that so rock? That was his own part of the job. That's Buhari's assignment. And he did it till he died. Some have been sent into business, Dangote and Co. You say, Richest man in Africa. No. People are blind and gullible. Richest arm robber, I'm man. This richest criminal. I'm, I'm telling you, Frederick, he was the Southerner of Asanjo that even made him to become what he is. Just like a Stephen John, he's being used to make to bring to do what achieve his goal. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Mm. My people perish for lack of knowledge, says the voice of Elohim. They do. You lack knowledge. You have. You lack intellect. That's why you are perishing. Stop shouting and crying to Elohim. Use whatever you have to project and support the Afra restoration. That is the way to go. That is the way to go. People of God, arise and do your own part. Do not wait for Martin and Kari to give you order. The order has been given. Bring yourselves together. Begin to ask necessary questions. What can we do to avert the impending danger? The doom comes to us. Anything you do, even if it means getting our political leaders to begin to think like human beings, it's important. We had a weakest uh, audio. We didn't even know he knew so much. That means there are still more of them like we get. There are brain dead ones that uh, like uh, Obi are not the drunkard. Um, what other one? What, what do they call this? All these are stupid names. Carrying certificates and no brain. Uh, uh, they will buy the midget. They will buy, uh, all those stupid ones in our land. 
People are removing them out of our lives in somebody's assignment now, don't you think? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. People, mm -hmm. when somebody does something, 200,000 for me, you tell him, what are for? What are you for? Who are these foolish people that are having big stomach in the real world? <laughs> walking up and down in our land. I know. And uh, your family to send me video of a bumped woman. When that one has grabbed you now, you got to do the needful. You are okay. waiting for Mazin to give you command. Mm. Meanwhile, when you want to sleep with your wife, Mazin does not give you command. Mm -hmm. when, when you want so, to ship your business and do your business and clock in and clock out, you don't wait for Mazin to give you command. You do it and collect your check and keep. This hypocrisy will not take us anywhere. This lying to ourselves will not take us anywhere. You were a child of God, like my sister said. Our God is smart. Our God creates. Our God is Elohim. If the spirit of Elohim resides in you, you will be very creative. When you have problems, you don't sit down and start crying. You sit down and listen to the voice of Elohim that resides in you. And he will give you an idea how that problem will be solved. And he does. Then you fix it. And then that problem will go away. Not calling Umu Kwensu to come and help you and deliver you. That is against God himself. Thank you, my people. Absolutely. It is against God. Assume which we have every tools, every instrument, every acumen. I would not I gave you what is on why. If only we can start by telling ourselves the truth. The problem is that we have we are lying to ourselves, we have marinated ourselves in lies we, and pretense and wanting to please other people and wanting to do all these things that we have lost touch with reality. The worst part of it is that we are not even making connection with the universe. Do you know that you can command the universe to listen to your needs? Do you know you can command the universe to listen to your voice? But when you are going in and out of consciousness, when you are not sure who you are, you don't even know why you're in the universe. You have not even blended yourself with the universe. You have not even grounded yourself in the universe. You think the universe will listen to you? No, it will not. Please, let's have you guys listen to this video message from our, our sister. Um, it's very life-changing. It's quite a long video, but if you have the patience, it will help you to begin to make that change that we are talking about. That change that will open up your eyes and have you start reasoning in a different manner? I'm here to tell you that you actually do get to transform the world every day by your actions. Small steps lead to big accomplishments. And I'm here to tell you that your life isn't some big break like everybody thinks it is. They're waiting on the big break. It's actually about taking... Can you guys hear, sisters? Is it clear? Yes, it's loud and clear. It's very okay. clear. Okay, thank you. One significant life transforming step at a time. So you can pick a problem literally any problem, the list is long because there's gun violence and economic inequality and there's media bias and the homeless need opportunity and the addicted need treatment and the dreamers need protection. The prison system needs to be reformed. The social safety net needs saving. Misogyny needs to stop. And the truth is you cannot fix everything but what you can do here and now is make a decision because life is about decisions and the decision is that you will use your life in service you will be in service to life and you will speak up you will show up you will stand up you will sit in you will volunteer you will vote you will shout out you will help you will lend a hand, you will offer your talent and your kindness however you can, and you will radically transform whatever moment you're in, which leads to bigger moments. Because the truth is, success is it's, it's a process. 
You can ask anybody who's been successful. And so service is not just about when you're getting served. It's truly everything. So I started to ask the question, how can I use this show to not just be a show, but to allow it to be a service to the viewer? And that question of how do we serve the viewer transform the show? And because we ask that question every single day from 1989 forward, with the intention of only doing what was in service to the people who were watching, it is why no matter where I go in the world, on any given day, somebody comes up to me and says, I watched your show. It changed my life. I've been watching since I was five years old until I, until I went from DVR to, to VCRs to now streaming. People watch and were raised by that show. I did a good job of raising a lot of people, I must say. And that happened because of an intention to be of service. So I live in this space of radical love and gratitude. Truly, I have, I, I, I feel the most beautiful life that you can imagine. I sit around trying to think of who could have a better life. And I will tell you, whatever you imagine my life to be like, I wonder what Oprah's doing right now. It's always 10 times better than whatever you think. <laughs> it's true. Uh, and it's because, not because I have wealth, which is great. That's what, money's fabulous. I love it. And I get a lot of attention. And that's also good sometimes. But it's because I had appreciation for the small steps, the seeds that were planted, the map and flow of my life that unfolded because I was paying attention. You have to pay attention to your life because it is speaking to you all the time. And the... So I am going to continue this video. Everything she says here does not typically apply to us. But the idea is for us to know that we are here for more. That our life here is not by accident. That we were created to do a whole lot more than what we are doing. That if we pay attention, even if we pay attention to the smallest details, that it can get us to the highest, uh, to the highest place that we could have never imagined in our lives. So let me go ahead and uh, finish up. You will not believe the um, thing cut off while it was still speaking. But anyway, the gist of it is that we, we are created here um, to, to serve. We are created here to serve. And that's one thing Africans uh, uh, have not internalized. Everybody feel like in order for you to get something from me, I have to get something from you somehow you know, versus I am doing this because I'm serving God's purpose. I'm serving my people because I'm serving more my God's purpose. I'm doing this because actually when you serve, it gives more to your life. And serving doesn't mean cooking rice, stealing all our money or our monies and using it to give us a bag of rice at, uh, on Christmas day. And then your name will change to on one name or whatever you, the place you come from. From January to December, we are in starving uh, in starvation because you stole all the money. In Christmas, you give us the money, and now you become our Lord and our Savior. That's not what we are talking about. We're talking about a guy that will live in a mansion and tell himself that it's not right for me to live in a gated place, water running, while my neighbors are living in Egypt poverty. A guy that will tell himself, oh, yes, I have the money for my children to go overseas and I'll pay for four years of school fees and all that stuff, but my neighbor cannot even get their children to go to school. There is no school for my children to go to. Being able to serve your people without asking what is in for me. And that is the biggest problem for us Africans. We always want to know, oh, okay, Kemerugo. That's why you would hear in 2019, people that God has sent in America, strategically sent in America for a time like this, will go and invite OKZ. Okay, we'll go and invite OKZ. Okay, uh, what's the name of the other guy? Is that his name? 
Obi Anor, whatever his name. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll go and invite that useless guy because there's no other reason how they may invite. Oh, can I get with take a thought on how to, maybe he will make them commissioner, he will have them be a, a give them a contract, you will have them do all of this thing. So because of that, they will sell our collective interest in order to invite Obi Anor and Obi Abo. And the useless people, because they are not honest with themselves, they are going there to be part of the group and say, oh, I met the governor, I took a picture with the governor. But you're still clocking in and out. You're still taking insult from your American uh, supervisors. I can ask you, you're still sewing uniform every weekend to go and uh, uh, massage your ego because during work on Monday through Friday, I have for like we're still lying to ourselves. And then your president will use it as a position grabbing uh, 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 opportunity for himself. So if I invite him while I'm a chairman to come and cheer on occasion, and Mulia and Rona high table, we know all the tricks. Mulia and Rona high table, probably my wife will cook for him and I'll go to hotel room and meet him. He will give me his cell phone number. I will know him on person. Guess what, stupid? When you get home, he wouldn't even allow his security officer to allow you to come by. Go and ask other people that try to sell their people in order for them to organ kehir wola. They will take all your money, you have nothing. Let's me one hand and number on for. You will not get anything from them. Hagi rigi dig reach again. You will pack your stuff and come back here and start driving taxi again. We have to be honest with, with ourselves. We have to start selling our collective interest for Nkega Banyerem. The purpose of this video, unfortunately, I'm too upset to even look for it now. The purpose of this video is to tell us there is something more to this life than Imakwonyengo. There is something more to this life than I want me, for me to be known only. There's something more to this life that oh, I'm trying to know, but they are all about me. At 21st century Africans, at 21st century, we still want it to be all about us. Whereas other people are talking about nation building, it's time to make their nation great. All we're doing is to see if I can get enough money to have everybody around my community to worship me. What have we learned from all these people I've been growing over there? What have we learned? Do you know that a, a CEO of the highest company here we see on your child in a trailer home and I've called him respect? Nkanyo Awo is to go and use our lives and, uh, and our time to get what we need to get from other people. When are we going to say enough is enough? When are we going to start using our sense? When are we going to teach our children differently? For them to accept any black person who is a normal human being and accord them that respect. We are already at the lowest level of the food chain. Then I basically amongst ourselves, I need to wine to be the other one on top. Guess what? Even when you kill your brothers and sisters and get on top, Ndochahinelanya still do not value you. You're still a monkey and you're still a baboon. You're still a monkey and you're still a baboon. It's time for us to wake up. It's time for us to do the needful. It's time for us to do what works. What works? We cannot continue to live in these lies. It's not favoring us. I went to Iboka League the other day. I'm telling you, in the next 10 years, a whole lot of them will die. A whole lot of them. But they are still wearing jeans, tying a, a money belt on it, and their shoes, and they think they are young. Guess what? When they are walking, they don't even know it. They won't tell themselves the truth. They have not laid any foundation for their children. Papa getting on a village that didn't go to school will not leave anything for their children. At least they are smart enough to leave their land. Getting here go and they leave it for your children. Oh, you push them to go to school. Yes, the school will afford them the strategies to survive, to be a good man, to be of service, to serve their community. Please, our phone number is open or our, our phone line is open. I'm sorry. Um, uh, the number is plus one of is on the uh, platform here, plus one two eight one six four three seven two eight three. The number remains the same. Um, it's going to remain the same for the longest time. Also, we have another line, plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two three three eight zero nine one four two. We must continue. We must start. We must start to do what works. We have to. There is no other way. We have to start reading in between the lines. We have to start thinking about what is going on. I know hunger is in our land. 
But if you are focused just on your stomach, guess what? You will die. You will die. We have to start employing other strategies. Sisters, please go ahead. Uh, yes, we, we have to start, um, you know, employing other strategies. And the strategies that we have to start doing is the one that would work for us. For those that are living in our nature, you know that you are, an embrace as a whole, you know that as the first son of Biafra, you know that you are the primary um, pr um, primary oh, target okay. for attacks. Do you have a caller? Yes, call her your name and where you're calling from. Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Chinere Apple. I'm calling from Houston. I'm originally from Mba. Mba is in Abia province in Abia in Biafra land. Welcome. They will know much in okay. They will. Thank you for everything which you guys are doing. It's not easy. We well, appreciate you. Thank you. Thank um, you. I salute all our brothers and sisters. I P O B worldwide. I greet you all. I greet all freedom lovers all over the world. We are Biafrans. We are I P O B and we are formidable. Uh, I want to thank my sisters for the topic of today. Indeed, our people need to wake up. Our people. When I say our people, I mean Biafrans. Call Biafrans. Umuibo, Ulu Tetanura. This is the time, though, because if we keep on sitting down and folding our hands and waiting for our leader, Nandekani, to do everything for us, we can never achieve anything. My heart goes to those who lost their lives and their property. My prayers are with you all. So our leader has been yelling and talking about freedom for their friends. And some people think that it's a, it's a child's play. Some people think that a Hamadike war will be the one doing everything for them. Come on now. Now we are doing everything. 
up. It is too much. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. I'm going to give it to What is wrong with you people? You need to get some sense. Okay, me. My dear, thank you so much. This is terrible. It is terrible that we are in dire need of uh, uh, restoration and people are busy doing all that stuff. How in the world can people get you on a land of freedom? And they put freedom for your people. Yeah, now, are we saying it in Spanish? What is going on that up till now? They were going to church all their lives. If all church, ha, ha, na, they will come on air, fire you, destroy you, text you, remove themselves from your platform because you mentioned their church. Casey, you know what I'm church, you know that you guys don't know that our land is calling us to do the needful. Can you know what I'm church, you know, know I'm that we don't want to do this for 40 years and 40 nights. I mean, okay, ha, na, but 40 years. You have to see me in 44 days and you may in 40 years. Because somebody is playing games. Somebody is being dishonest. Somebody is not as solving problems that nearly anya na anya. You're not looking at the problems. You're pretending as if they are not there. As I'm telling you, a whole host of them is planning to go home. May they meet their untimely death, no labor and hanaga. Because more could be, huh? they will not know what other people are suffering. Only all no no but then all they may to be to do the need for the ban. Ila runo le na la December. Let that all I hear now. Let you go in and park I give me pool or mansion go or whatever in I game for you to suffer the suffer the fate of our people. Because maybe you begin to make sense to them. We have been screaming, we have been lamenting, and we don't want to do that anymore. We want to focus our mind, guy strategizer, to get this thing done. We don't want to be using our strength to be watching horror movies and horror neck cutting businesses and Horror woman dying with her baby on her laps. Can you imagine how traumatized we are? Do you guys know that men here need to now know men America able to here? They don't allow us to see it too. Amen. Hala, they will clean up, wash, power, wash the place, remove everything. People will be moving on through that place as if nothing happened. We can't get the picture. We can't get the picture of the woman with her baby off our head. We can't. That's where we have reduced ourselves to seeing trauma, 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 trauma. We are traumatized people. We can't do anything else. When you know again in America, I cause their people not to see trauma. They don't show anything violent like that. Now, they can say, I'm not going to do anything like that. 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 I'm not going to do anything do you know this boy that he had to get on a motorcycle to go to a hospital talking to nobody from head to toe? What are you guys doing to us? Who is trying to damage our souls? What is all this? He had name. I'm right here. Now he said, Vunketa. Never said, I'll never send him $15,000 on her dog. One name, maybe. 
People are now going go up left and right. And they mean dog shot. They mean here. Your brother died just trying to get to the hospital. Our brothers are dying just because of fire truck. But we can do induction and raise $40,000, $50,000. We have all kinds of parties. We cannot form, use it and form a political action committee that can be affecting uh, politics here or policies here. And then our sisters are allowing their husband to put them into this uh, uh, businesses of induction. You're the one giving birth to these children. You're the one suffering. No, your own. Your own offspring is not suffering. But guess what? You don't know what's coming for them. So they're having inductions upon inductions upon induction. And I see our land is calling us. And all you guys can do is to do induction and wake up every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Haven't you done it enough? Haven't you have enough party to say, a Zola, let me come check out the As I'm telling you, a whole lot of them are not going to be here in the next 10 years. And they're not willing to do anything for the future of their children. Go ahead, sister. Please, our call number is plus one, 281-643-7283. Plus one, 281-643-7283. Uh, our other line is plus one seven seven four three three eight zero nine four two. Please call in. Our topic today is going for what works. We must find a way to go for what works. We have to find what works for our people and do it. We have to start working from your neck of the wood. You cannot wait for onion do. You cannot wait for the government to get you a fire truck. You cannot wait for the government to build you a hospital. You know you don't have any government. What can we do amongst ourselves? to elevate some of this suffering. Kedin high game. On your now where God that is not making plans on how to protect the money, you're wasting your time. You may enjoy that money for 20 years on the 24th year, it will go to waste. Eh? How do you now make that money making business sustainable? Sustainable in the sense that it's fireproof, it's danger proof, it's all proof. Can we do better? Can we do what other people are doing? All we have to do is even copy and paste. We are so blessed nowadays, we don't even have to invent electricity. We don't have to invent phone. We don't have to invent hospital building. We don't have to invent street. The data, data's not out there. All we have to do is copy and paste, get our resources together and copy and paste. Why are we waiting for one person to do all of these things for us? Why? Oh, Sister Augusta, please continue, I'm sorry. I know, I know. It is is mind blowing. It's it's uh, it's drenching. It's um, on our fourth floor. It hurts. It really, really hurts. Our hearts are bleeding, and our people they know what it takes. They, they they the fact is that I don't even know if they they know that this thing. I don't know if our people have emotions anymore. I don't know. I don't know if they. They are too anything. traumatized. Too traumatized uh, to have. Yeah. You. Everybody is suffering from PTSD. Maybe all we, well, everybody should go to psych clinic. Maybe we all need to do that because I don't or I did not see the pictures or did they think it's a movie that is being acted in America or something? Because I know America can paint good pictures and act these movies in in, 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 in in their you know whatever. But the fact is that our people what what, what, what twisted our brain? What happened? There's no point in the brain now. Oh gee, turn to area probably change. To the other way around. I'm beginning to figure out. I, I, I'm finding it so difficult to understand why things are the way they are. Other communities there in America, there, is, there are things that they do differently. And I don't know why how people have not, that's why the fact that, oh, we are supposedly the most intelligent, whatever in the. Educated entire, fools. We are the most <laughs> educated fools. Eh? Educated, that's yeah, yeah. Most educated uh, group of people here in America. And the truth about it is that we don't even probably probably we even took up that face in our exams. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what we actually do. What makes us intelligent? What makes us the most educated group in the entire America? The most educated group. But it's not they are not kidding. That's the truth. And yet our education, we cannot put it into practice. We cannot unless what we have to be able to set our children, at least, or set ourselves here in the country that we live in. 
We don't even know what a political uh, action group is. I was talking to somebody the other day, and she was like, how does that benefit me? And I explained everything to her. And she was still not understanding. And I'm like, okay, KBC, go out. Because if you don't understand this simple thing that I've enumerated, I don't understand. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why you don't understand. It's so confusing. Our people are going north. We are going bananas because we know the route to take. But our own is just to show up. We're in the business of showing up what we have, but to showing up what our brain tells us to do. So we need to start getting it together. We, start, we need to stop lamenting. Period. Stop lamenting and start doing the needful. Those of us in America here, we got to go and start doing the needful. The Jewish community have a pact. The Chinese community, they have a pact. The Vietnamese community have a pact. All communities, they have a pact. And that thing protects them. What is happening to our own community? Over here, you lose your license at the slightest provocation. Over here, you go to jail for things that Chinese man, they would even give him high five for doing. We need to start getting it together. We need, we just have to stop lamenting. You are not going to expect the United States to come to your rescue, no. Because as far as they are concerned, your group is the most educated. So why should they come to your rescue? You gotta expect the United Kingdom or whatever, all those UN, NU, whatever their names are, to come to your rescue. They are thinking about their own bottom line. We have to start thinking about our own bottom line too. We have to start thinking about self-preservation. We just have to start doing that. Thank you, Sister Moon. Yes, sad, my sister. Sister Ubi, please go ahead. Yes, my sister. You know what you are saying about um, groups? Imagine all the groups that we have. Igbo group, Webike, uh, what they call all those, they are, those they are stupid names. Yeah, Nimba, this, oh. that, uh, uh, everywhere. Hajjid, everywhere, they're everywhere. Telling, all those names, they gather together, all they do is eat, eat your kobi, eat rice, eat uh, abaka, eat oboroko, eat uba. Imagine if all those groups can come together and turn themselves into a political action group. Black power. You come together, form a power. That's what it means. It's common sense. Like Sister Augusta said, these other communities, they have it. That's what makes them sick in America. They're your own. You just gather your money and eat it inside your mouth. Like a prodigal son. All you do is eat with women. If you're not sleeping with your wife's, your friend's wife, you're sleeping with your neighbor's wife. And then you look at yourself and beat your chest that you have done something tangible. All you did in your life is to make money and sleep with other people's with, with, uh, other people's wives. Hmm. And you think it will come back to you. It will boomerang and come back to your children. Because you have no legacy. You have no le legacy for your children. You have no plan for their future. You have just set them up for failure. It's only our people that do not understand that making yourself politically powerful in any way you find yourself is very critical to self-preservation. Hmm. You must do it. You don't have choice. Please let me know when somebody calls. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. So you don't, you don't have choice. And that's why we say, you see, we, we, we've been wondering what type of leaders do we have? The people we call leaders of our land, Igbo leaders, Biafra leaders, the elders of the land. Because before now, our elders are usually called Ezan, especially in some areas. Not even Igwe and all these things that we don't know the meaning, whether Igwe is iron or what. I don't know how the title is. Oh, iron, man. Igwe. <laughs> I think it's Igwe. We should be calling them. <laughs> I can't see what they're doing. We call them Ezan, and you see their name. You say, um, um, opara, opara naya, opara So every name had meaning. Once the name is mentioned, you know where this person is. And these leaders protected the land and the people. They would rather die than for anything to happen to the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you see something happening, they will call from where they are and say, see, 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 the cloud is, is black. 
His blood cloud means that somebody has been, something has been done to somebody. A widow, something has happened to a widow. Uh, something has happened to an orphan. Something has happened to a fatherless. He will start shouting, calling the men of the land and the women of the land, come and make a change. If you don't make a change, something terrible will happen. This is who we used to be. They were the custodians of our culture and tradition. It meant so much to them. They would rather not, like some of them, sometimes we have the women, which we call as the wives. Sometimes some of them don't marry. They will say that the, the, the God of the land has called them. And they will sacrifice their entire life to see that the land is preserved, to see that the people are preserved, to see to the safety of the people. These were the leaders we had. And that's why we say that leaders are born. Because when they are born from, sometimes some of them come with birth mark. And the people will say, oh, this person is Ugeze. Meaning, she's going to be the wife of a king. And from the time she was born, they will start bringing her up as a queen. They will teach her how to talk. They will teach her how to dress. They teach her how to work. They teach her how to cook. They teach her how to lead. How to love her people. And you see, most of the time, those people have this characteristic that they love the people. You see it in them. They are born with it. That attitude of loving the people. This is who we used to be. But now, we have stooges in our land, calling themselves traditional rulers. They come together and sell us 500,000, whether you are alive or dead. They should go out to Anisha and start carrying the corpses and selling. Because, um, on your path, I'm a go. Yeah, the trap, they said, he has, he has, he, he got a big animal. So they should go and start uh, collecting 500,000 or Obiano. Because that's what happens when evil is in the land. When there's an evil person ruling the land, there's calamities everywhere. Hmm, everywhere. Everywhere. Because you don't know what he's doing in the secrets. And what he's doing in the secret will show in the open. In the culture where I come from, the culture that I'm so proud of, when calamities happen, we go and find out why. I enjoy I say. I am a Jewess. I'm a Christian. I'm a Pentecostal Christian. I know I still Jewess. I need to. It doesn't mean I have to go and meet a firewood that you can't and start bowing to that. No. I'm in direct communication with you, Kokikabia. Sister, we have a call. I'm his daughter. Go ahead. Please. Call her your name and where you're calling from. Call her. Mother. Yeah, good to all Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you. How are you? My name is uh, Mazi Fanyamara. Okay. I'm, I'm calling you from the other crossroads. Welcome. Yeah, I want to contribute to say a few things on the topic of today. Okay. Going back to what that works for us. Go ahead, brother. Yes, go ahead, brother. We can hear you. Uh -huh. Because I know that I don't know that most of my people are dying and not. Uh huh. Yeah, but I don't know how many of them are dying. That's it. If they particular path is very beautiful, you be applying that road on daily basis. If you apply a very bad path, like if you if you travel to other, you will never dream having anything that will take you to to other state of in your entire life. Wow. Because the road is very bad. Mm. So it's high time that we be our friends go back to what that works for us. And that is being on our own. Because there have been peace according to history. There have never been a record of war. During the time their friends are on their own and the zoo was on their own and they do the war, whatever they call themselves, are on their own. Nobody is fighting each other, nobody is trying to conquer each other because we've never conquered anybody before and we wouldn't like anybody to come and say that we will do this uh, free. So my sister, I love this topic of today. 
Thank you. The lot of things are happening to us. Our people died in their numbers a few days ago. And you know how Nigeria is. Nigeria is a very barbaric entity. They are. That Zoo. when evil happens, they will look for something that is that is that is a useless something. Just look at our people died and they immediately they called on the governors to come to Abuja. So that we'll stop discussing on the people, on our people, the source of our people that have that we lost. So that we'll stop discussing on how the government, the so-called government that are supposed to, to protect the, the citizens, didn't do what he's supposed to do. And the masses die in their numbers, and the citizens die in their numbers. So that we abandon that serious topic. I start discussing that uh, that uh, Jubri called all his slaves to Abuja to whatever uh, they call it that they want to do, maybe to dialogue with their with their with their with their papa and their mama. Are you getting me? That's yes. how evil this contraption can be. I've sat down to calculate all these things. Whenever something terrible happens. Instead of this government who will stand up, we sit up and look into what that really happened. Why is it that there's no fire service in the home of Anambra State? In the home of Anambra State, no single fire service. The fire burned throughout the day to the next day before and uh, Delta State. I don't know what they tell Delta State government before they were able to release their fire service to come. By then, everything has been damaged. These people come to your head when you are dead. Just is like one of our brothers singing his song. Right. That's what they do. Cheaper too. Mm -hmm. Have it been known be alone or whatever he called himself? Put fire service in all over the market in Biafra land. Mother, can you imagine if this is happening up in the in the market? It's terrible. The whole Anambra state will be finished. Oh, they will. So if this thing happen in any other place, nothing, nothing, nothing will happen. I know it's and everybody kept quiet. Mm -hmm. They will just discuss it in just a few weeks now. That one will, will be will be a dead case. Life goes on. Hmm. The people that have died, they have died and gone. Those people that are still alive, somebody say, oh, thank God though, that my shop is opposite. It didn't affect me. That's how bad our mentality, that's how it's bad. crazy, my our, brother. Our, our it is crazy. It's crazy. We don't sympathize with our brother whenever they are in it. It's crazy. It's crazy. I know. Instead of sympathizing with that person, you'll be thanking God that this thing didn't happen to you. How are you sure that it will not be your turn tomorrow? Hmm. It is so. It's their turn. They just don't know it yet. I just want to see some. I just want to use an example. Let, let me just say that uh, people from my mother were saying on that day that uh, thank God uh, that this thing happened in Ochanja. That is not in Omoga. But on that same day in the night, around 3 o'clock, another one happened in Omoga. Oh, dear. Thank God that no life was lost. But properties were burnt. Mm. That is to tell anybody living in Imo land. Poor people living in Imo state. Poor people living in a, in a, in a, in a cross river. In Wacha. And those people living in Naba. That they should be in a lot. I know. Because this kind of thing can happen in any year. Mm -hmm. And those people that did it will go scot-free. 
Ozubo, Ozubo. Tata, can you imagine that this same truck that did this thing that the head was not there? I know. For you to know that this thing was planned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did the head go? Sorry. <coughs> where did the head of that motor, the tractor, where was it? Sad. Which means that before you discover motor, before you discover motor, they said that that motor had an accident. Before you discover motor, you have to put down the, the animal leg, that this is the call animal leg on trailer, because I'm into transport. I'm into haulage. So I know all these things. You have to put down the animal leg before the, 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 the timetable with the scope. Hmm. If that trailer is still standing, the timetable can never discover. There's hmm. nothing you will do that that timetable will discover. Hmm. Mm. Now they are telling us that it's an accident. And the one in Omaba is also an accident. It's a terrorism. It's also an accident. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh God. My sister, Mada, it's yes. right time we sit down. And stop listening to all these people that preach peace. Peace, peace when there's war. I know. I read my Bible, the Bible said that when kings go to war, that King David was sitting back at home, and because he's sitting back at home, something terrible happened to him. That King David had a bad record is because he's sitting back at home when kings go to war. But today, full of new people have declared war on us, and we even pray, even people, we are busy. Looking after our shop. What do you What do you want to make? First, we don't go to our shop and come back. Finish. That's it. If you are telling that person about that POB, about this thing that you are doing, it's just like our pastor was telling us the other day. Sorry to digress a bit. He was traveling to London. I came one. He was traveling to London. He reckoned. Meaning that one guy, a small boy of 17 years, an outside guy, was sitting right beside him, pressing his computer all the while they were in the airport. Once their plane take off, the guy noticed that uh, our pastor is an evil man. He started a uh, conversation and asked uh, our priest that uh, he noticed that uh, you are an evil man. He said yes. He said that, that you people used to think that you guys are very wise. What do you? That you guys have cash. But we, we have the power. A small boy of 17 years. Which means something, something that's got this orientation that they are doing to this guy. That of course, of course. Of course. Like the mother of Moses used to tell Moses yes. that you are a Hebrew. You yes. are not an Egyptian. You are a Hebrew. You are not an Egypt. I am an, an Egyptian. How can I don't know it, my brother? How can I don't know it? Mm -hmm. Going on on this in the life of this young man. They tell that they tell our priest that uh, with all our money, that one policy like this that they will pass. He will crash down. Of course. Of course. That's what a 17 year old boy that is schooling in London. That's what he told uh, our priest I came on. My brother, we said it this morning. I she told her that he was he was screeching and so until they get to where they are going to. Hmm. He said he couldn't sleep that night. What to am I cheerful? What that 17, 17 old, year old boy said. Hmm. He came back sharing this thing and he was crying. Oh dear. Saying that we are finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are busy struggling for this place and all that. Full of young people are strategizing themselves in the point, even even political this thing. In the in the all oh, the Sigi hack it on heke, hack it on heke. Yes, hack it on heke. Hack it on. This is good America. Send there your send there your goods to Nigeria. They will seize it. Yes, now. They might even plant cocaine in your in your goods and mm -hmm. say that you carry. And seize it. Then you will start struggling for yourself. Know that when it goes again, you will be struggling to come out. Yes. 
Yes. Something was found in your in your district. So it's like that we go back to what that was for us. We mm -hmm. want to be on our own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We never say we want to kill anybody. Yes. We will never say we want to fight anybody. But that doesn't mean that if you say that uh, they are not until we die, that is over your dead body that will be free. Then it will be to you as you are praying. He said, was born, Jen. So it's high okay. time that our brothers, please, if you have not join IPOB, join IPOB. Why is important is that that's where you will get information of what is going on around you. Yes, thank you. That is you. why you must join IPOB. Thank you, my yes, God bless you guys. For this thank you, my brother. On. You are so Keep wonderful. On on. Thank May you. God bless all of you. Bless you too. Bless you too. Thank Keep you. On so much our brother has an inside information look at like we keep saying this it's so funny how when we say something somebody will come on the radio and validate this they did not go and wait for buhari to do it all they put some in politics some in uh, intimidation some in boko haram some in our land to kill us some to marry us some to stay at the uh uh in and handling if they can seize it or not seize it, some in policy making, some in banking, some in uh, terrorism. I need to be an honor. It. Yeah, one family IPOB, one family IPOB. We have to diversify our efforts. We have to find out how we can march in there toe to toe. We need to divide ourselves, division of level, like my sister will rightfully say, so that we can begin to match these people one to one. Because I got, got down at one place in a team, they already know that we're in this place. I need the different, different men and women in this, the same department, how, whether more terrorism department, how, or uh, uh, takeover department, or whatever department, how, we need people to divide themselves and start gathering themselves in those places so that can we get in a because that they are consistent. How long have you had the roadmap? What have you had? What have you had? Have you had a plan? Have you had a plan? Have you had a mission like this? What have you had? Have you had a plan? I will kill all the Afrans. I will kill all the Afrans. I will make sure they don't survive. They are not doing anything else. What have you had? Have you had a plan? Have you had a plan? Have you had a plan? I have money. I have my fans. Yes. I have them seven children. I can pay school. I'm thinking of London. I'm thinking of Dubai. I'll pay school fees for four years. I can collect my money. I'm doing well. I can even pay my girlfriends. Oh. Call out your name and where you're calling from. Hello? Yes, your name and where you're calling from. Okay, yeah, my name is um, Isa, Isa Matalari, and uh, I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Welcome. Thank you. I saw your program on, uh, online. Okay. What's your contribution for today? Okay. The, uh, the I want to say is the, uh, is the, you know, is, is what is going on in Omega, like the fire and the everything that's going on in Omega. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an Igbo guy, you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm an Igbo man. I'm also a Muslim. Mm -hmm. I'm a Lahaji. Okay. I'm a Lahaji. I'm a Igbo man. I'm a Lahaji. Okay. But let me tell you what is going on in Onita. Mm-hmm. Onita is a jam-packed area. I mm -hmm. live in Onita. Mm -hmm. I have a business in Onita. Mm -hmm. Even in Bates. Mm -hmm. I have my business. I, I sell uh, trailer head. What, what is your name again, sir? I didn't get that. What was your name? What? What was your name? Okay, my name is Alaji Issa Matarali. Issa Matalari. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So, I I have my business in Monitor. I sell trailer head. I even I I I don't base in Houston, but I come to I live I have a house in Houston, Texas, but I base in Dubai too. That I base in Russia. I base in Spain. So what I want to tell you is this: people comment. They say that the fuel disaster. Is a terrorist. Is not a terrorist. Is not uh, uh, their fault. The fault is that government should build that federal road. Government should build that federal road because if that federal road that links to Onita and the Enugu Expressway is 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 properly built the way it's supposed to be, trailer cannot enter inside the street. That is why trailer is falling. They're killing people every day by day because I will have. 
my brother, God, 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 Thank you so much. I said, make him do the needful. But I want to get Joby and all whatever, you whatever. You know, take care of him for us. We live on the police motor. I'm not putting 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 on the police and vote for the wrong person. And vote for the wrong person. Every time, the same HM election that I, the same HM campaign that I do, I keep the campaign to today. Good school, good roads, good electricity, good water. But what a guy for you, that. And what can I do that? What can I do that? Take to the government of Sunday, what can I do that? Take to the government of Sunday, go to the northern areas. All their roads are properly built. They would own a Kenya, own a Kenya, then a day a month. Or could they own there? But I'm going to leave it's crazy it's crazy it's not only that why, why would anybody For our men to do the needful, and all we do is okay. 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 It's crazy. We have to do the nifu, my brother. We don't want to be lamenting anymore. My sisters wants to address you. Hold on, okay? Go ahead, sis. Hello? Yes. My brother, that's why we need our nation. That's why we want this Biafra to be restored. We want because we cannot lamenting, lamenting, lament. Because that's what we've been doing. Uh, we're talking about our stories about rest in peace. We need our nation. So, I, 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 am going to Nigeria on the, on the, on the 20th of November. I'm going to House of Senate to sit with the Senate. Okay. I will sit with the Senate. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an evil man, but I'm a full, I'm a full Muslim. I'm a full Alaji. Ichinichi. Okay, fool. I'm not going to bring guys for drop and I'm going to bring guys for drop and I'm going to bring guys I will sit with the guys who are the House of Senate. My brother, get me Biafra. He was the Harlem Biafra. Just get me Biafra when you get there. We need to go. This I cannot continue to watch my brothers and sisters being roasted because some person's decision or decisions. 
Restoration because of Ophian de Chorimen Chorime. Now we will be put in a hatch of restoration. We move forth. Why would we let two more points determine our future? We have to take the bull by the horn and do what we need to do. Can you bear up a bear too much? You won't know one or more too much. Time will get those people who deal with them. How no one have room with a year book or shake a book wire. Either they move on or hey, disappear, whichever one they choose first. So what we don't want, we mothers, what we don't want is all this lamentation. Our brothers and sisters are dying. My brother, that's, that's what hunger, that's what hunger will do, you know, as a mother. Uno um okay the different. As a mother, you can't know what your children are gonna go. That's why we need this nation. Catch a throne your wall at things gain your hair well or respect. You're gonna know what's a king. I'm not excusing our women. But I promise you, as a mother, you it's very hard to sit around and watch your children perish. Because somebody dropped with that thing there, are you supposed to leave or to go to where I be here? Somebody I'll be able to get a little park and in front of my house. That will never happen. So even if my obi anonym obi annoyed, why would somebody go and leave a, a, a inflammable sitting here in front of Evende Maduju? Knowing very well that even common cell phone can because flick up the light. That's why you answer the question. That's why we need our nation where we can have a government. Can you listen to us talk to you, please? Go ahead. Go ahead. We don't want this lamentation. We say we don't want wailing and wailing. No government, no government. Who is the government? That's why we're saying we want a nation. We are the people will be governing themselves. Where true democracy will be practiced. Government of the people, for the people, by the people. It's not about changing from one religion to the other. It's about doing the needful, setting up a system that will work. If you look at this, the topic today, we said doing, going for what works. Nigeria has no work for us. We are here just lamenting. We need to leave Nigeria, go to a nation we will build for ourselves, by ourselves, for our children. That road you are talking about, Mazi, it was actually tired. This particular road. Now, in a sensible system, there's no way somebody will take a bank full of inflammable substance, go there in the midst of people, Dump it and walk away. That's from where that was dumped is when the government will step in to take care of it. But we do not have government. What we have is failure of leadership. And we cannot continue anymore. We cannot go further this way anymore. We don't care what people practice. We don't care what the religion in Dubai. Dubai is a Muslim nation, but there's a system there. We are saying that the system called Nigeria has been strategically positioned to ruin the evil man. Felt so state. So the evil man. Mm -hmm. They set up fire and make sure there's nothing to quench the fire. Mm -hmm. They make sure not to bring in anything. They make you unable to select and vote for leaders that can represent you. Leaders that work for you. They close our airports. They close our seaports. They leave the roads on time. Yes, there's something called Federal Road, my brother. If you do not know what is going on in Nigeria, you should better go and get educated. There's something called Federal Structures. The state is not supposed to touch it. And they did it intentionally. You make it to be bad so that our 
children will be dying on me as accidents. We are telling you, echo lawyers, they divided work. Some of them are in politics, making policies that will make us know that to go forward. Yes. It's a strategy. Mm -hmm. Another group has been put into jihad. All they do is cut the head of our people, rape our people. Is it of the Allah that is raping our people? We want you to begin to think, you watch naked. Begin to think, they divided their work. So this other group in jihad, they go into villages, get our pregnant women, cut their stomachs, this is the babies. It's a group. Another group is to marry our daughters and betray our genes. Another group is educating and turning our brothers into Islamization, like you, that they've just turned you. Now, you are passionate. What we are telling you is terrorism. Because you have passion for Islam, you want to protect Islam first. That's what we are saying. You are not tell what you worship. We don't care what you worship, but anything that is not coming from black my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, she, my wife, my wife, she's from Adi. I am not protecting it, and my wife knows me too well. I say the truth, I'm not the truth. Your, your wife is full, Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I go to my in law's place, I tell my in laws the truth, I'm not the body truth. Mm. Okay. Now, what we are saying, brother? There is, there, is nothing, I say, there is nothing I say. There is nothing I say. Okay, so I, I raised this issue that was going on in Nigeria. I raised it in Mecca when I went to Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Every this year, I prayed in the Mecca. I was the, I read the prayers in the Mecca, and I told them, I told them in the Mecca that what is going on in my country, Nigeria. I don't like it. Hmm. Islam hmm. is against Christianity. Christianity against Islam. That discrimination can never lead us anywhere. That we pray for our own. We even pray for our own. And we want our own. I said it in the Mecca. I said it like this in the Mecca. It's a lot in my life. My brother. The Allah has dealt with me. I said it that we even did our own. That I am a Muslim does not mean that I can watch my people be humiliated, be maltreated in the hands of the government. No. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Please go and get us Biafra, okay? Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yeah, so my people, this is a problem that we get into. When we any day Biafra is not declared, our brothers will turn into Muslims. Uh, Muslim, he is passionate about what we are doing, but I don't know how passionate you can be when your wife is the people killing us, the Fulanese. I'm all confused by this phone call. But that is like a Jewish man marrying Nazi. Oh, dear. Yeah. I know. Have you seen the predicament we have found ourselves? Have you seen what we get shot and say, any day we delay in restoring Biafra, we are in danger. We can show you women. Mm -hmm. Yes, call her your name. To make this project. Yes. A hold on. Am I on? project. Yeah, hold on. Kala is on the line. Okay, thank you. Call her your name and where you're calling from. Please make it snappy. We are almost nearing the end of the actually it's past our time. I don't know why everybody's calling now. <laughs> okay, okay, so make sister. it snappy. Thank you. thank you. Thank you so very much for this opportunity. Thank you, my sisters um uh, i'm so delighted to be to join this uh, this topic it's very interesting um uh, my heart breaks my heart is aching because what just what happened in our nature i grew up in our nature uh, my dad had a you know businesses at our nature before you know um we left there the last uh, fire incident happened not too far from where we live at Omaba. So my heart is breaking. My heart is seriously breaking. And I I must say this, and I continue to say it. Our people back home, our businessmen and women, the backbone of uh, Nigerian economy, 
niwe yako. We go out there all over the world. We develop everything. We, I mean, we make things happen outside our land. How come? How come nobody? How come we can't fix our place? Of all my brand, is it a cause? How come? What happened? Is that why I call the way? Is the way go up? Because some people is the way go. How can we not, you know, fix our own land? But we we'll go to Lagos, we we'll go to Abuja, we we'll go to Dubai, just like this. Um, this person just called her uh, in. Uh, God help us. God help us. Our own brother, Ibo, with Ibo, Ibo ne, and Serena Mahaji. Hmm. Okay. How are we gonna get our piazza? I keep saying it. All hands have to be on deck. Oh my goodness. All hands have to be on deck. Okay. For those of us who believe in Biafra restoration, we must step up with the leadership. Now, with this incident, terrorism incident, because that's terrorism, I don't care what anybody says. Okay? How can fire, you know, fire incident back to back happen? We need, we need a, 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 you know, a space of 24 hours. And you are telling me it's a bad road, but that bad road has been there. Has been there even before. Before I left, uh, you know, that, that, that jungle, you, you know, some many, many years ago. Oh, my God. It has been like that. So what are you trying to tell me this color? You better come back to, 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 to your roots. You better leave that, that ideology. You are trying to tell me that Islam. Let me tell you, maybe I need to educate you about what Islam is or what Islam is not. What you just did by calling is that here. It's not that here. Tell me I'm wrong. Okay? You are lying to infidels. Look at you calling your brothers and sisters infidels. You didn't say it, but that's exactly what you did. You are lying. You are lying to your own people. And your people are dying. Look at you. You can, yes, you're, you, you're, you can go to high places and make things happen for your own self. Hey, well. you know where you come from. Hey, well. Hey, well. Hey, well. Hey, well. Hey, Thank you, Sister Chum. I have to, I have to hang up. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. This is very scary. If it, this is very scary. I, um, wow, wow. This is what we are talking about. When people go and do things to benefit themselves and they lie to themselves that they're benefiting others. It's so funny how I just gave the example of the ASA USA that invited to be a boy, okay, Zipas or whoever they invited. All the man did it for me. When I invite him, I'll become the commissioner. And then the people that were stupid enough to attend the, the occasion would take picture with Obi and they would say, oh, uh, my friend, governor is my friend. I have his phone number, whatever they will be telling their friends. And here is this, our brother now. He has strategized himself by becoming Muslim. He married a Fulani. And these are the people that are killing us. Like, I'm so, like, how do you think you're going to help me? Whereas he have totally moved over to the camp of the enemy. I'm like, so... Like, can you please tell yourself the truth? What is all this? Huh? Call out your name and where you're calling from. Please uh, make it snappy. We uh, we have passed the time of our show. Two minutes, okay? And I have somebody else to call. Oh, my goodness. Call out your name and where you're calling from. Uh, I don't want to waste time. I just want to say two things. If you look at the, the conversation of that, uh, the last caller before our mom that just uh, finished there, uh, said something now. I am crying here, honestly. This is what, this is what our Safulani wants to do to us. Hey, whoa. Look at the controversial this thing they want to do to us. By the time we have this kind, we have this type of person 
in our list like 50, 50 of them. Hey, we talking about today, they'll be talking about today before, they'll be talking about last year. Hey, whoa. Look at how confidential he is. Saying that he, a Nibo man, is married to a full and new person, a full and new. What are you not to own answer? Not to you know about a full and new person that he's married to. And he's telling us that he went to Mecca and he was telling them that. Ow. Ew. 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 That is your problem. Chai. That is your own problem, Ogam, if you are hearing me. If you go to make her to discuss with them, with your with your colleagues, with your with your fellow slaves, that, they, that they Nigeria is not working. That is your business. We want to work, we want to make Blafra work for us. Blafra is the only thing that works for us. No, the zoo. So Try. You come on this platform next time to come and talk rubbish. Thank you, Wanda. Thank I you. I need those less here. If I need those free bonds, no, bone, my brother, we need to know. We need to know that they exist. We need to know that. I'm married to a full and for them to pick you to give you one course in Nigeria. Eh, well. That's why you get it. That's why you sold your soul to them. That's why you went and swore that you will never leave your Islam. Because once they convert you into that is that you will never go out. If any time you plan on going out, they will take you to kill you. They can even kill you. Hey, thank you, my brother. You come out here to tell us. Thank you. Sorry, oh, oh, I was gonna. Oh, I am so frazzled, like uh, totally frazzled. Like this is not even happening right now. Uh, we have one more call, so we can uh, close. Uh, this is this is too much. This is too much. Our people will continue to sell us for their own benefits in any way that they can. And they will lie to themselves that they are doing it for us. They will sell us in the name of Yugobike. They will sell us in the name of Enimba. My sister, Hello? yes, two minutes, please. We've passed okay. our time, two minutes. Can you can you turn off your radio? Oh, I'm hearing oh, myself. Okay, can I can I talk now? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, my dear. Oh, um, um, be a frag. Uh, God bless all of you. Okay. Yeah, God turn off turn off your radio be behind or your listening devices. Okay, let me just turn it. Let me just. Uh, uh, I'm trying to stop it, but it's not okay. Good. And uh, can you hear me right now? Sure. Okay, my dear, my dear sister, thank you so much. Uh, there's something that you just said. Well, that you God bless you, my dear, my dear sister. There is something you just said. What people, what we don't need to, we we really, we really need to know that this type of people exist. You see, that's what we are all also missing in our own uh, in our own struggle. I have said it before. The same way they have all these people in all angle of our Biafran land. That's the same way we should have the same type of thing uh, to their own people. Our people that know how to speak Fulani, they will be there getting the information, knowing the angles. The ones that speak out of the same thing, the everything. We need to be in everything, but we don't have to be a Muslim, okay, to do it. We just need to be divide the job because one person cannot do it. We have to divide the job. But for my brother that just called, that was that that didn't know that she he is totally blinded and brainwashed and they, oh my goodness, even him is not safe because uh, he might think he's safe. He's, no, not, he's not. He's not safe. He's not safe. He's not because safe. Because after they finish using you, my brother. You're gonna be disappear, and the way you're gonna disappear, you're gonna even you're actually gonna take that to you is a, 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 a work of the nature, because you are going to be poisoned gradually and you die, and you thought that it's a normal thing, but you are going to be dead. They're gonna wipe you out. So what happened in our nature is a plan strategically done. Is strategically done. The same way they're doing with the food. Please, everybody, listen to us. Stop whatever it that is coming from Fulani. I will stop. Stop it. Stop buying it. Stop using it. I don't care how cheap it is. I don't care how cheap it is. I don't care how.
how easy it makes them, it is it, it, to get. Just like they have put bank in Enugu and make you to come and take loan without interest and you're foolishly going there to take money. So our own people too, I'm talking to you, all of you that is rich, that have bank, that have food, that is doing only famine. Also, because you guys should know that they are doing this. So please, bring your own interest law. Make it easy for your own brothers and sisters to get laws. Okay, the farmers, bring your price law. Make it easy for your people to buy. Even if it's a little high because of the way you get it, because they're making it impossible for you to eat and produce more. Then you don't put, scatter, put it so high that your brother and sister cannot buy it. Mm. Also, people that have a farm, please go back to the farming. Even if it's a small uh, one lot you have, I don't care. Plant cassava. Plant put the, the things that you know that you can grind and use. Put vegetables. Put ede. Put all the goyam. Put all those things. Use, uh, we have a way. We have been doing it before. So we did it before. We're not, we're not talking, about, talking about right now that we actually have all, all your children all over the world. So crop plant uh, also, uh, all those plants it is it, even more nutritious than all this junk. Our pantries, please never you cut the pantries. The oil in our pantries is the best oil in the whole world. It is. It's the only oil. It's the only oil that does not cut when it comes in. Mm -hmm. It is soft and slightly. They down. cannot match oh. it. They cannot match oh. it ever. Oh, please, we should be using our things. Believe me, my dear brothers and sisters, Biafra, please listen. Because I don't think we can continue talking, talking, talking. You guys should please listen. All of, all of us should send messages to our brothers and fathers and mothers. And we should start talking to them. They should stop using this by killing us gradually. They know that we are about to exist. Believe it, Biafra is already here. And they know. That's why they're now trying to give somebody like us.
Thank you so much. Uh, last caller, please uh, make it snappy because we really have to go. We've passed our time. Um, yeah. Your caller, your name, and where you're calling from. Yes, make it snappy, please. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon from here. Actually, good morning. Good morning. From where I'm okay. Yeah. Good morning from, from where here. I'm coming from. Sorry. Okay. How you know, about you? And if I'm down, I put it on. I put it on. I put it on. I put it on. I put it on a line so that we can be able to round up, as you say. It's not in a more taste. So, on your blah, 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 yeah, you know. Hello? Thank you. Hello? Yes, Hello? yes, you're still Hello? on. Go ahead and finish, Hello? please. Yes, I can hear you. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Can I speak? Yes, you've been speaking. Okay. Yeah, from my side, my side, good evening, my side, good evening. Good morning. Moa. Can you? All right, so our brother is having issues uh, communicating this morning. Thank you. Sisters, please, let's round up. Uh, Augusta, your closing statement. Yeah, thank you, Sister Muna, and uh, thank you, Sister Ekwe. And my closing statement is just going to be straight to the point. For that brother, that uh, allergy is that I've called, you know, one of the problems we have is self-aggrandizement. We like showing off. Oh, that he, he, he's based in Dubai, based in Spain, lives in the U.S., as he has in Vegas, as his in-laws, and so on. We are uh, we like showing off. So first of all, you don't need to show off to us. We don't need it. And second of all, he said that the attack was not a terrorist attack, for crying out loud. 
terrorism doesn't have to, they don't have to announce it. They, they're not going to say, hey, we are coming to come and terrorize that the market to get ready. No, 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 they're not going to do that. The people that left that tanker, the head of the tanker was not there. The guy that dropped the tanker was not there. And you're wondering how did this spark up? And I've explained before, several things can spark that light. It could be somebody mistakenly drew a match. Because inflammable material like oil, like fuel and gases, these things are very, very inflammable. They travel in the air. So it is left for you to understand that somebody can actually uh, somebody can actually uh, uh, strike a match from any angle and it would travel fast. Another thing I also talked about the cell phone. And that is why in America they tell you not to use your cell phone when you are pumping gas. There's a reason for that. All these things will strike our will strike any gas from blowing. So him saying it's not a terrorist attack. I don't know what part of the world he lives in because he's trying to tell us he's a well-traveled guy. If a well-traveled guy and you see the 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 the, the, the subjugation that we are suffering, I don't know what else. You, you understand? He was praying in Mecca, my sister. He was praying in Mecca for them to, to help us. Yes, the Mecca, the Mecca people that are buying the weapons are the ones that will come and help us. Yes. How much yeah. has he benefited from the Fulani people? A lot. He has benefited a lot. He has houses in more uh, businesses in Dubai and in here in Houston and everywhere else. He said, how much has he benefited? He has benefited a lot. He's marrying their daughter. He's marrying their daughter. So because I'm marrying your daughter, they're not of those who live in perpetual penury. We live in perpetual slavery. We live in, in, in we'll continue to say yes, ma, yes, ma, to people that we are better off. Mm. I don't understand. And he said he has access to the Senate house, blah, blah, blah. As I said before, we like self aggrandizing ourselves. He, he, he should he get me Biafra. That's all he has to do yes. since he has access. If he is genuine in what we are doing, he should go there and tell them about what our problems are. All the governmental parts that are no, no federal, federal existence in, 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 in the part in the part of the eastern region, and it's busy yeah, telling us he's married to a full and white. He should be careful because some of us, our, our eyes, not chance red. Our uh, eyes, not chance red. We're not interested in anybody coming to cajole us. Hello. We're not interested in that. Mm. So you should just leave us alone and let us continue our our, our struggle. And I know that Scope Kabiama, with what we have seen so far. And thank God he came. Sometimes we need people like him so that we know their thought process. We need people like him to show so that we will know where their, where their minds are. So thank God he came online and he has spoken to us. And we just want him to just leave us alone. He's not part of us. And he can't be part of us because of what he has benefited. He's one of those people that will pull us down. So let him be on his own. Thank you, my sisters. Unbelievable. Thank you. Sister Epi, please go ahead. Thank you, my sister. We thank God for a beautiful show. Thank God for our people that join in because um, I like when I said something, I want evidence. And my father is always doing it. He's so faithful at that. Once we say anything on this platform, before you know it, evidence shows up so that we we'll know that we're not here to play. And by the grace of Tuku Kabiyama, you and I will restore Biafra. Everyone listening to me, He's you, a Biafra, nobody's going to do it for you. Like I was saying before, this nation building is not what one person, one man, one woman, one organization, one uh, UN, one AU, one this. No, it has not happened before. Americans built America. So Biafrans must build Biafra. We encourage you, final word from me is do whatever possible from your own end. Join anywhere you need to join, but from your own end, start solving that problem that is facing us as a people from your own end. And you have to start now. If you are in a market and refuse is almost eating you up, set up a company, a cooperative, whatever you call it, that will take care of refuse. Fire is a problem, get fire truck. Whatever it is, we tell people that we are working towards Biafra Bank, and we are not joking about it, because we move so much money as a people. We will not wait until Biafra is restored. We will start now to do the needful. Anything at all. If you are an exporter, importer, 
do it in the name of Biafra. We will do everything in the name of Biafra. And we will restore Biafra. We have taken the oath to do so. I hope they will help us and we must do it. Thank you very much. Thank you, much, Nick. And of course, we are calling on lovers of freedom and defend, uh, defenders of equity and liberty to stand and be counted, boycott all things against our freedom. We must understand that this struggle belongs to all of us. Every Biafran is a stakeholder, and every, every Biafran is, has a civic duty to restore Biafra. We need to fight this fight together. We have a common enemy, and their name is the Fulanese and every other thing against Biafra. Do not sit and wait for Nambekan or IPOB to give you order. You must do your own assignment. You will use your common sense, problem solving, uh, solving strategies to execute what will help us get our land. You do not need to know, uh, you, don't, you don't need no orders to boycott uh, Fulani products. We need you to stop attending every church, still praying for one Nigeria or flying a Nigerian flag while our people are dying. We need you to market Biafra in any way that you can, especially those of us living in diaspora. You can paint your business Biafra, like my sister said. You can change logo. We are working on Biafra Bank, and Biafra Bank we must get next year. Tag everything that you make made in Biafra. The Muslims, they have an agenda to rule the world. So from the beginning, they see the world as a battleground. Once they are born, look at the 17-year-old telling the pastor about how he can destroy an evil man. Once they are born, they give them the roadmap on how to destroy their friends. They announce, they announce it, they divide themselves into different sections. Again, we remind you they divide themselves into politicians, business, banking. They even marry our daughters. They carry cat, uh, cattle into our land and destroy our land. They have groups that are into terrorism. They have those that fly to Africa and serve to get them information. They have some that are into religion and jihadists to kill and massacre people at will. The Fulani has an assignment to conquer Nigeria and Africa and dip their Quran in the Atlantic Sea. And we are watching them complete it. Wake up, dear friends. Wake up, dear friends. Wake up, dear friends. Stop telling yourself the, the uh, lies. Stop telling yourself lies. We must do the needful. We must strategically match them bumper to bumper in all those areas that have strategically placed to destroy us. We must place our own to counteract it. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you guys again next week.